it starts with noticing. So think of the people you don't know in this room, like me, and the women possibly sitting next to you, as icebergs. You have no idea who they are. So we're looking around the room going, what is she talking about? So you can see something about this person. You can see what she looks like, what she says, perhaps she has behavior that you're judging in, in the moment. Underneath the water is all of the stuff you don't see. Think of yourself that way too. What are you thinking and feeling but not expressing to other people? Below that, what do you value? What do you believe in? But you would never share that. And even below that, that woman next to you, what are her deepest needs and fears that could be at stake at work in any given moment? And the same with you. Sometimes we don't even know that about ourselves. So that noticing and becoming aware is the first step of centered leadership without judgment. That's the hard part for many, many women without judging ourselves, without judging others. The second step is to make a choice. OK, I'm aware now. This is what I want. Can I shift? If I make the choice to have a better experience, I may have no better outcome, but I've made the choice. It hasn't happened to me. And then the third piece is to practice the skills so that when you make those choices in the future, it gets easier and easier to execute well, to be effective. And then you start to move the group in ways that you didn't think you could do before. That's centered leadership.